how much you look forward to Friday night? Yeah, um, massively. Uh, these games, you know, um, I suppose, you know, you work all week on when you have uh, an opposition coming up, you know, you work all week to get ready, tweak up, get going to um, go into the game. But I think these games, um, it's, it's automatic, you know what I mean? We don't have to think too much about it. It just, um, it just happens, you know, we just, we know when we've been to these games, we need to be at our best. Um, so yeah, um, it's uh, hugely anticipated really from us, I can't wait for it really. Do Dundalk bring the best out of you, do you think? Um, yeah, well I suppose like, naturally, when, in any league, when the two best teams play, everybody needs to be on their game, so, and when everybody's on their game, collectively, I think you come up a level, like, um, no matter what that level is, you know. So uh, I think playing the dock, the games in general, I think they'll be very good, you know. Um, they're feisty, you know. There's a bit about them. Um, you know, I think there's there's goals in them games. There's there's um, there's everything you look for in a football match, I think. Um, but yeah, I think when the two best teams play each other, it's definitely um, it makes for the the best watching, you know. And playing the middle, so those turns cross as well makes the occasion, I suppose, extra special. Oh, 100 percent. Playing in Torrance Cross is uh, you know, we buzz off it, you know, when there's when you're coming in, queues outside the gate, you know, from when I was going there as a young fellow coming up and I was a player, um, just be going into the ground just, the buzz is great, you know, you can't um it's very local, like you know, you go into the shop there there before the game, everybody's on Tiago or you can't can't really go anywhere like or any someone mention it because it consumes the, the city I think, you know, um, especially that where we're at it. We're at the top the last few years, you know, so um, I think everybody's interested. And um, yeah, the, I think Torrance Cross is special, you know, like you play in Tallaght, you play um, wherever, any ground in the in the country, like even Bowes play Rovers, it looks like there's a decent atmosphere, but I don't think it's, it comes near Torrance Cross when top of the table clash and sold out, you know, I think um, the atmosphere is brilliant. Going back to the game up there earlier in the season, Gary, when you lost, like, you could see at the end of the game, obviously the celebrations with them, you could see how much it meant to them having not beaten you in so long. From your point of view, do you try and bottle that kind of feeling and just as a reminder of what it feels like to lose to your nearest rivals and bottle it and make sure that you know that you know you don't want that to that, that happen again? Yeah, yeah, like I was saying, like, a lot of things happen automatically. I think that's one of them. It just um, hurts you, like, you know what I mean? Uh, to lose in anything hurts you, like, but especially when it's there's a bit of rivalry, you know, and, um, you know, the like glass season and stuff, there's this and that in the paper and all that, all these kind of things going on. I think it just fuels the fire, like you know, the fire inside you, like you have to go on, go on, like all right, we need to perform here, and it, it gives you that bit of, um, I think that bit of sharpness. I think you need that. You know what I mean? You need something in the locker to, to energize you, I suppose, and keep you going right. That's not happening again, you know. So I um, mean, yeah, definitely. The Achilles heel of the team before John came in was losing to teams around them or just above them as it was because they were only sixth in the table at the time. Friday night is a huge opportunity to lay down a marker to be done dogs first defeat should you win. But it also said something about the you know, to redress the balances. Paul said about losing one nil, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, you know, I think um like we went to this game, uh I suppose and the build up, as I said, a lot of things happen automatically. This build up just happens. Uh, we know how big a game it is, and we know what's at stake, and um, we know what we need to do. So all we can do is, I suppose, focus on training today, tomorrow, Thursday, whatever it is, and um, approach the game. Like I said, um, hugely anticipated, you know. And um, please God, you know, if we put in the work throughout the week, which um, no doubt John has us doing, um, I think we can we can come out the right side of the, the result. And um, I think we're, I think we're a better team to be honest. So I look forward to the the game. Garoda, it's the the third game against Dundalk this season already. Like, would you notice the difference? Would say in the midfield battle this season compared to last season when McAdenny was there, and even before that when Towell was was going up against you. Um. Yeah. I suppose. For me, like I suppose McAdenny, yeah, he got on the ball a lot. You know, him created things and moved around a lot. He had. Bit of freedom, I suppose. So he was kind of he was here, there, and everywhere. So I suppose at times as a midfielder, it can be tough to pick pick a player like that up. Um, Tower, uh, he was good, you know, like he was great, scored loads of goals. Um, 
not so much as McIlhenny, you know, in terms of I find it easier to mark play against Richie Tower than I would Patrick McIlhenny, like, you know. Um, but uh, this season, I think I think it doesn't matter who's in there, really, when Cork played on Dock, it's just at it, you know what I mean, fellas are at it, like I said, everybody knows, so everybody brings their game up the level and um, really go for it, like, you know, to, to try and win the game, so it's tough no matter what way you look at it, and um, no matter what players are in midfield for us or them, everybody's going to be at it, and you just need to make sure you're the one that comes out on top, like. Uh, Rod, <laughs> over the last four years, there's been very little between the two teams. Obviously, this year again, they're on top and goal difference. Just, do you see a weakness in Dundalk anywhere? Where can you expose them on Friday night? Um, I wouldn't really like to say it because then we're going to look at it, you know what I mean? So, um, well, no, like, we'll be look, as I said, we'll be doing our work now through the week. Uh, John and Cots and the back and two, everybody who's involved, we'll have meetings, we'll discuss it, we'll go through what, where we can expose them and what we think we can do and then um, how we think we can best affect the game and, and go and score goals. So, um, yeah, like you said, I probably won't say, but we'll, um, we'll definitely have a plan in place for Friday night. Because like. you just said earlier, you, you feel Cork are a better team than in I, think, sense, like, where, where I just think, I just think um, collectively, I don't think, I think if we're at it, and if we, we, if we like I said, if every player ups their game, I think, um, I think we're the best team in the country, like, you know, I have a lot of full confidence in us to go and put in a performance against anybody, you know, and, and come up with three points. Um, so, yeah, so it's just a case of everybody putting in the work during the week with John and uh, come Friday night being, being ready to go, like, and I have full confidence in us, like. By the time you go to Rovers on Monday, there will be six games in 18 days, which is obviously a very hectic schedule. Like, are there too many games being packed into the earlier stage of the season? Like, would you, would you prefer to see the mid-season break gone, for example, just to try and give you a bit more rest as the season progresses? Uh, I wouldn't like to see the mid-season break gone. I think it's needed, you know, because like you look at other leagues and stuff, there's international breaks, there's this, there's that. They always they get a break in some mm -hmm. shape or form, you know, so I think it is needed. But, um, yeah, the, the, fish, the, the fixture congestion is unbelievable at the moment. Like, you know, with, where the amount of games we're playing is... Um, it's unreal, you know, I thought they, like, when they extended the season or whatever, about a big two weeks or two and a half weeks or whatever it was, I thought it wouldn't be as bad, but seems, we seem to be playing two, three games every week, you know, like, you know what I mean, and it's, um, it's tough going, you know, but like you said, like, it's the same for everybody, like, so um, we just need to keep growing and keep at it, but um, yeah, no, it is, it is taxing and there is, a, there is a huge ask there, like, you know, so um, but same for everybody, so we just need to come and meet it and, and um, you know, put in the performances along the way, like.